D5 maintenance fluids hardly provide any nutritional value. If you've ever had a patient who is NPO, you may have started maintenance fluids on those patients. That maintenance fluid is usually a D5 with something else, half NS or maybe NS or LR. But that D5 that you're infusing into the patient is not for nutrition. If you don't believe me, let's do some math. That whole bag, that whole liter of D5 whatever has only 50 grams of dextrose in it. So if you run that maintenance fluids at 100 cc's an hour, that means in 10 hours that patient is getting 50 grams. You know what else has 50 grams? A can of soda, a smoothie, two candy bars. The reason why that D5 is in there is because that little bit of sugar causes insulin release. When patients are NPO, they enter a state of catabolism and that's mitigated by cortisol. They break down protein, break down fat, break down muscles, break down tissue bed. This is bad in the long term for patients who are critically ill. But that little bit of sugar causes there to be insulin release and it's that insulin release that prevents that catabolism that happens when you have patients who are NPO. And while I'm a big believer of early tooth feeds for our patients who are critically ill because of the multitude of benefits, even those trickle tube feeds that you're starting your patients are going to cause insulin release and prevent the catabolism from happening in those patients. And that's why 